system. So this is a few examples of just the florals. And now I want to show you um, a few crocs that can get very um, pricey. But you'll see this is pretty common. It's called a pecking chicken. It's in a three gallon and it's a New York croc. And see, you see the chicken bending over, picking up its little bits of food and with a little flowing um, flow cobalt on the bottom. And that's a pretty expensive croc. And when you get into more of these types of crocs, the money is actually, it's going to increase. And the value of the croc is going to increase. Here's another croc I want to show you. This is a bird on a leaf. Um, another common, but um, highly decorative croc. You'll see these in the forms of other animals, in deer and dogs and um, other types of birds, parrots. Um, and those crocs can be very, very expensive. So um, this is just another example of another bird decoration um, that I can show you. And let's take a look down on the open ovids, which is a simple design, but really a nice blue, cobalt blue design, just a slip, no, um, no markings at all, um, can be probably attributed to somewhere in New York or New England. Very nice ovid shape to it. And here's another one, very similar in shape. Um, the, the clay is a little bit lighter. You can see it has a floral design to it. And this is a, a West Troy, New York crock. Very pretty crock. Not a lot of cobalt to it. And here you find another Bennington. Very simple. Same as we started to show you in the very beginning with the simple cobalt um, on Norton Bennington Vermont crock. And we have a couple more here. This is one from Ashfield. This is a two gallon with a stylized floral. And then the one of the more expensive ones you'll see here is this um, script signed uh, S.D. Kellogg Waitley crock. So those are some of the samples of cobalt that you can find in crocs. And there's a lot more out there. This is just a small sampling.